हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी मॉडल अल्सो नेटवर्क अटैक्स विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सिक्योर सॉकेट लेयर हैंडशेक प्रोटोकॉल एज पर यूर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक Let's start a session. In this session, we will discuss about SSL protocol, the working with examples, and at the end, we will discuss the question bank. Now, the first point is what exactly SSL protocol? SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer Protocol. This protocol was developed by Netscape in 1994. The main purpose of SSL protocol to establish secure connection between client and the server here client means a particular web browser that client want to use and server means a particular website server ssl protocol provide three types of protections first authenticity second integrity and third confidentiality authenticity means ssl protocol ensure that there is a right pair of client and server means there is a real client and real server there are no any fake visitors integrity means here ssl protocol ensure that the correct and accurate information sent towards the receiver there should not be any modification and alteration done by the third parties and the next one is confidentiality means all the information are converted into the encrypted format that's why there should not be any unauthorized users hackers or attackers are there so this is a main task of ssl protocol provide authenticity integrity and confidentiality in computer network now the next point is working of ssl protocol so for considering working let's take one example there is a client and there is a server suppose there is a client and this client want to search a particular website for example https www.sbibank.com by using a particular browser client use any browser like uh, firefox chrome or any other right so the first step is client search a particular website through particular browser now as per the working after that client send client hello message to the bank server okay browser send client hello message to the bank server along with that they send ssl version and encryption algorithm ssl version is tls 1.2 they provide more security and encryption algorithm is aes or rsa means client device client system support this encryption algorithm clear this is the first step now in second step that is server hello means a particular bank server accepted client information and they send server hello message to the browser along with that they send yes i am accepting your session version like tls 1.2 and this banking server support aes encryption algorithm along with that this banking server also send server authentication certificate to the browser server authentication certificate means i am a real banking server right there is no any fake server or fake website is there this is a real authenticate sbi bank server clear this is your second step now the third step is client verification in this step a particular browser check banking server certificate this is a authenticate website or real website of banking server or not so they check this thing first if it is authenticate certificate then the particular browser generate pre master secret code or any random number this is also called security code right suppose browser generate 78965 this is a pre master secret code so browser convert this secret code into the encrypted format by using banking public key 
okay uh, this encrypted format which is very easy to uh, difficult to hack or difficult to attack right which is difficult to read by the normal users so what is in third step in client verification first client check browsers uh, servers authenticate certificate then uh, browser generate pre master secret code and convert this secret code into the encrypted format clear next now the next step server decryption and key generation so banking server receive this decrypted code and convert this code into the original format that is 78965 they perform decryption now this is a session key this is a secured code between client and server communication right now this secured code used for each and every banking website accessing purpose clear so this is called decryption and key generation now the last step is secure communication so after generating secure session key at that time client enter banking login details their username password and uh, all these details are encrypted okay they convert uh, this plain text into the encrypted format by using that secured code that session key then bank server also decrypt this session key and check the, all the login details if login details are correct then they access a particular sbi bank website right and after that all the further communication means to transaction account details mini statement this all operations are performed as per the client requirement so this is called ssl protocol they ensure that real server with real server client so as per the previous year question paper they generally asked explain ssl handshake protocol for 8 mark and explain ssl in detail for 6 marks sir you have to explain all the five working steps with example thank you keep learning